Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to go ahead and do a one brand tutorial using all products from e.l.f. I really love e.l.f. products. There is a lot of the products that I reach for when doing my makeup look. And I wanted to share with you guys a full face of using only e.l.f. products. A lot of the products that I do use in the video are new to me. Um, some of them um, have been out a little bit, you know, at the store but I hadn't tried them so I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion whether I would recommend you guys the product or if I would pass on it so uh, with that uh, if you guys want to see what uh, products I use from e.l.f. to create this makeup look then just keep on watching alright let's jump in with this uh, makeup look so we're going to start with my eyebrows and I'm using the um, e.l.f. lock on liner and brow cream um, in the shade medium brown, which looks like this. It's like a pomade type of brow. The brush that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12. Is that too loud? It's okay, I'm gonna fence for it. Very quickly, it is very creamy. Once I'm applying it, it's gliding on very smoothly. So just that's my off the top impression of it. And I really like that. I think it was, it's pretty good. It glides on. Uh, see if it wears out good for a couple of hours but as far as um, my first impression on it I think it was great it blended very well it glide on super smooth I think the color matched perfectly my eyebrow a um, little lighter but it's I think it would be fine uh, but so far I'm really really liking it I'm gonna clean it a little bit and then we'll move on to my eyes I didn't buy a primer for my eyes, um, so I'm just going to use a Maybelline one just to give it a fair shot to these eyeshadows. Now that we've uh, primed our lids, I'm going to move to the eyeshadows. And the palette that I bought is the Nude Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. It does say that it's new. So I don't know how long ago this came out, but I would say it's fairly new. Um, it does have a couple of matte shades in here. It looks like one two three and the rest are more on the shimmery side so this is what it looks it has like a mirror um i know this one for fact was like ten dollars so i think this is like the most priciest thing from all the items that i bought um but i will see we'll test it out and see if it's worth the money i'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here which is a bone nude color just to prime set my primer and just using a fluffy brush from Sonia Keisha collection. I don't know if I said that right. To do a very basic look, just a couple of um, transition colors and then just more of a corner and then shimmer on the eye. So I'm going to start off with a blending brush from Wet n Wild and I am going to dip into this more rose Started in the crease in a wiper motion and then flicker it towards the end to get that. So it looks like it's a rose gold color, but and once I'm applying it, it's kind of looking more like a purple lilac color which is fine grab the other matte color which is like an another purple rose um, undertone pink color and it's also matte and just add that to the corner of the eye so pack it in the corner and then drag it up 
in circular motions as you're doing it. So pack and then kind of distribute the rest of the product upward. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. No, I'm gonna add a little bit of this color right here. It's a, it has a little bit of um, shimmer in it, but not too much. I'm gonna try to use that and just give it a little bit more of a pop color right there in the corner. But just like a f tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And when I'm adding this, I'm adding it right in the corner right there and just distributing it upwards. Just a small, small amount. Nothing too. Okay, I think that's good enough. We've blended it out. We're going to move into the corner of the eyes and I am going to use this more rose gold color it's really light i am going to be using a flat brush from wet and wild and i'm going to use a little bit of the l'oreal inflammable pro setting spray just to give it more of a shine to it more of a fair chance not bringing a lot of color hmm. I've used this one before it is the brush copper uh, malted liquid eyeshadow from elf and um, this is a new product from them too and I've used this before and it really does work so I'm just gonna add a little bit there just to give it see if it helps with brightening that shimmery color because so far by itself and with a little bit of um, setting spray on it, it is not doing anything. So I'm just going to add a little bit there. Hopefully that brightens that color up and then it helps a little bit. Now it's giving me something. And that's a lot better if you can see that compared to this one there's no shimmer whatsoever there so so far as far as my impressions for this palette it's not so good I'm gonna go back with my Luxie brush and then use that um, purpley color that we had that matte color and kind of Blend that harsh line from adding that color. What? And I'm gonna use the Elf Liquid Eyeliner in Charcoal brush. is pretty much thick. It looks really black on the hand, so hopefully it works out. I'm gonna do this really quick off camera, and then I'll come back and let you guys know how it went. Okay. All right. So back that really surpassed my expectation this eyeliner i didn't really have hopes for it i was thinking that it was gonna be chalky that the bristles on the applicator uh, weren't gonna be good but you know what it actually glided on there really smooth i did have to add a little bit of coats in there to make it really dark but as far as you know the overall I, I think it did pretty well. And I'm gonna add a little bit of um, mascara and I did get one from e.l.f. as well. And it says it's a new formula um, for a volume plumping mascara in black. I'm gonna do my face. So for my primer, for my face, I'm gonna be using two different things. I'm gonna be using this it says beautifully bare luminous matte makeup primer um, lift from within so um, hopefully it 
it does work. Then after I apply that one, I'm going to be using the Primer Mist, which is the Aqua Beauty um, from e.l.f. is new. And since it's clear, so I'm going to spray that on top of that. It is creamy. doesn't feel too heavy. It's white. Um, can I face it that already? It doesn't feel tacky when I am applying this. It does feel like it's feeling a little bit of my pores. No. Now on top of that, I'm going to use this um, primer mist and see if it helps with it. I automatically feel refreshed. It does feel moisturizing. What I'm going to do is add my foundation. Um, I am using the e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Finish Foundation in color Sand. It says oil free SPF 15 sunscreen, so that is great. It does oxidize, so make sure you consider that when you are grabbing your foundation. Um, and as far as flashback, I don't know. We're going to test it out later and see if it does. It does have a little pump, so that is fabulous already. Spray a little bit of my hand. So you can definitely build it. So far it feels good on the face, doesn't feel too heavy. I feel like it's medium to full coverage. Um, you can definitely build it up. I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm using the HD Lifting Concealer in the color Light. Um, so, um, definitely not very brightening. It is not light at all. Kind of almost looks like my my color. You see, you can see the camera doesn't seem to be too brightly. Maybe this could be used for like a you know spot conceal when you don't want to wear makeup. But as far as like brighten it, it's not doing that. I don't. I didn't do much, so we'll see. Now I'm going to do some contouring um, because when I grabbed this, um, the Aqua Beauty Infused Blush and Bronzer, I didn't notice that it was like a creamy texture. And with that, um, I didn't know that. So when I was swatching it, I last night, that's when I found out. So look like a lighter color in the box and then the actual product so that was a little bit not good for me looks a little orangey I don't know what like hmm not the best thing for sure I didn't buy anything to set my foundation, um, so I'm going to use what I had before, which is the e.l.f. finishing powder in light um, medium. As I mentioned it before, it's really good, and it's just add a little bit of that blush. Ooh, there's a lot of pigmentation. Lots and lots of pigmentation. So a little bit goes a long way when you use this. Um, but I wasn't really impressed with this. Colors are definitely too dark. Um, and once I applied them, it looked too orangey for the bronzer. Um, and then it says that it's a peach color, but it's really, really pink. So wasn't wasn't a really good one for me. The yeah, duo, it's um the bronzer and a blush. I'm gonna use that to set my contour and my other blush since it was like more of a um, creamier. And I've used this before, so I really like it. It does have a little bit of shimmer when you see it here, but once you apply it, it doesn't show that shimmer. So I really like it. So for this one, I will be using the Elf Baked Highlighter Moonlight Pearl. And what I've learned about this one is that it has 
like a shield um, so when you uh, swatch it it won't give you any color but once you take off that you can see that it does once you take off that surface it will have color as you can see right there it does, looks really pretty I'm gonna use that I'm going to go ahead and do my under eyes and put on my lashes and then we'll finish up the look with the lips. So I'll do that really quickly off camera and then we will continue. Okay. Uh, unfortunately the eyelashes, I didn't use the elf ones. Um, when I saw them at the store, I, they didn't seem too appealing to me so I just didn't give them a fair chance I guess you could say. So I just didn't buy them. I just used a different one. I used the uh, red cherry eyelashes. and number 217 then i'm going to use the elf um cool eyeline i'm not not cool yeah cool eyeliner um to align my waterline and the upper um eyes so that it all blends in seamlessly my eyelash yeah didn't do a lot it did give me a little bit but I had to redo it a lot, a lot, a lot, so I don't know. Now I'm going to do my um, lips. I'm going to align them with the dual stick in pink. Definitely looks orangey. Doesn't look pink at all. So I don't know. One, two, four there. And then I'm going to use the lipstick in Touch of Pink. Um, it's a satin... Um, Lipstick, so it's not going to dry matte. It says that it was new, so, so this is what it looks like. It's a very cute color. It does um, feel very moisturizing, so I like that. I know it's not going to last very long because it's not a matte lipstick, but you know, it's something that you can reapply and I think it will be fine. It, it will look okay. Uh, this is it. This is what I've come up with using all e.l.f. products and my overall impression about all these products, a lot of them did surpass my impression. Okay. Sure, the eyebrow um, cream I definitely like it. It was really smooth when I was applying it. It looks perfect. Um, I really, really liked it. I will definitely keep using this, so I definitely recommend it to you guys. Primers, I think um, I both of them together gave me a more moisturizing, more glowy um, makeup. So I would, I, I actually did like both of these. I would definitely, definitely keep using them. So I will give them. A go as far as the um, palette I'm gonna say no I'm gonna pass on the palette I don't think this is something that I'm gonna reach for when I'm doing my makeup just because um, the shimmery did not give me anything um, after applying so many coats even um, setting spray it didn't give me anything until I applied that other um, shimmery metallic um, base um it was the only way that i could get it to give me Absolutely. something we loved the highlight and this is only like three dollars amazing once you scratched off that surface it is great i mean look at this it is amazing foundation I, um i think did good i definitely didn't think it was going to perform this great it is keeping up with my face it looks like it matches my skin very well um it is not matte foundation so this is something that I would probably use in the winter um, but as far as um, the price goes and what the amount comes in here I would I think it's a good product I would definitely use this um, the concealer was uh, was a no for me the lipstick and the lip liner were really good the eyeliner was okay um, the mascara was average. I think it did good. On my lower lash, you can definitely see it. So it did perform good on that level. The eyeliner, I absolutely liked it. I think I will keep using it. I don't think I will be using it. So this one I do recommend it. I so yeah, I think that was all the products that I used. And that was a little recap of everything and what I thought 
give you guys a more perspective of what products to buy or what to get and whatnot. e.l.f. is a really affordable brand and I always reach for it when I am at the drugstore. I always want to try something new because it is affordable and sometimes it performs higher than just a drugstore product. So I would definitely reach for the items that I mentioned before that were a huge plus for me. Um, I enjoy filming this um, video for you guys it was something different if you guys want me to keep doing this one brand tutorials then just let me know comment down below what other brand you would want me to um, get and make a do a makeup look and give you my first impressions on them um, or you know if there's a different type of video that you would like to see also comment down below Give me a thumbs up so that I can know that you guys like this type of video and I can refer to it and do more videos like this. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I always enjoy being here and filming for you guys. So, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.